an inspirational story of love and hope on this Thanksgiving. Matt Hammett is the lead singer for a Christian rock band that travels the word, but, world, but it's based right here in the Toledo area. Matt and his wife Sarah just brought home their third child after months in the hospital. That's because little Bowen has a potentially fatal heart defect. 13 ABC's Lisa Guyton spent a day with the family, and Lisa, this is an amazing story. This story is proof that good often does come out of some of the toughest times in our lives. Bowen was diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome when he was still in the womb. He was born in September, and after 10 weeks at the University of Michigan's Mott Children's Hospital, he is home tonight. In his short life, Bowen Hammett has overcome some incredible odds. Afraid to love something. Suffering is a contrast point for uh, revealing all the good things in life. And that's what's happened to us over the past few months, is that we've been so much more thankful for what we have because of what we've almost lost. To what I can't control. During a routine ultrasound 20 weeks into Sarah's third pregnancy, the Hammets learned their baby boy had a heart problem. I just cried and cried and cried and cried, and I had a million questions. I felt that I was fortunate that I was able to know ahead of time, although it was agonizing. Yeah. Owen Hammett was born September 9th. Three days later, he underwent the first of several surgeries to fix his little heart. The left side of his heart, or his left ventricle, didn't form in the womb and so they have to uh, you know fix his heart to make it so that his right ventricle provides blood to both uh, his body and his lungs. All along Sarah and Matt knew Bowen might not live. One of our nurses told us that her prayer for us was that <clears throat> we would hold Bowen loosely and you know Sarah kind of added on to that a little bit saying you know we try to hold Bowen loosely but love him tightly and that's it's a really hard thing to do. Just hours after that first surgery Bowen went into cardiac arrest. We were not prepared to see what we saw, which was our baby, you know, being administered CPR. And um, Matt and I were really just waiting for them to call out a time of death. But that didn't happen. For about a half an hour, Matt and I thought we had lost our child. And so we actually felt like we had a second chance from that point forward, like we've been given some extra time. Even if it's not enough, enough to and spent two more months in the hospital. He came home last week. We've only had him home for like six days and it's been pretty sleepless. Um, and we have our two other children. So it's been great. I'm actually way more comfortable than I thought I would be. Um, his only issue right now is keeping his food down. We just need him to keep his food down so he can gain weight for his next surgery. At the toughest point of his family's personal life, Matt's career was hitting a high point. Afraid of love. Something that could break. He's the front man for one of the most successful Christian rock bands in America, Sanctus Real. And for months, he's been balancing a concert tour and a family crisis. I would leave the hospital, and then I'm kind of thrown into this whole other world where we're having one of the best tours we've ever had, and, um, you know, I guess dealing with the reality that things are going really well, you know, with the band, and uh, it's just, it's hard to move back and forth between that. Bowen has a second surgery scheduled this winter, but for now, the Hammonds are enjoying every moment of being together at home. And I have been devastated, but I did get a piece that is unexplainable, that um, everything's going to be okay regardless of what happened. Going through what we've been through makes us realize what's important, you know. All material possessions aren't important to us right now in life. Um, you know, it's just our relationships, our faith, those are the important things to us. And I would encourage people to really invest in those things above anything else in this life. Those are the things that will last. It's where I start. Truly wonderful family with a great message that should make us all a little more thankful today. Owen's second surgery is in February, then he'll have a third surgery when he's about two. Sarah and Matt began a blog called Bowen's Heart to chronicle their story. It was an easy way to update family and friends, but it turned into something much bigger. On the day of Bowen's first surgery, there were 220,000 hits on that site. Log on to 13abc.com if you'd like to check it out.